In this video, you'll learn about dynamic microphones. I'll show you how they work and what they do best. This is a part of a series covering the different types of mics. To see that playlist, you can click right here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kyle. I've created Audio University to help you learn the fundamental tools and concepts of audio and how to apply them. Consider subscribing. All microphones are transducers that take energy from acoustical form to voltage in a wire. Each microphone has a membrane within it called a diaphragm that moves sympathetically with the particles of air. The differences between different types of microphones lie in the way they harness the energy of the moving diaphragm. Dynamic microphones are also called moving coil mics. They function on the following principle. As a coil of wire moves in relation to a magnet, a voltage is created. The diaphragm of a dynamic microphone is attached to a coil of wire. That coil surrounds a magnet. The diaphragm is usually made of aluminum alloy or other low mass material so that it can be moved by low mass particles of air. As the diaphragm is shifted forward and backward by a sound wave, the coil of wire also moves. Because the coil of wire moves in relation to a stationary magnet, a voltage is created on the wire. Dynamic mics are the most common type of microphone. These four elements are what make them so popular. They're durable, high mass, directional, and have no inherent noise. Dynamic mics are relatively simplistic in their construction, which makes them more rugged than other types of microphones. This mic is a Shure SM58, and they're known for their indestructibility. They're notorious for being dropped, rained on, and hit with drumsticks, while maintaining a consistent sound quality throughout their entire lifespan. It's definitely a staple microphone to have in your collection, and you can check them out on Amazon using the link in the description. This compact design really helps to mitigate handling noise. And so I can take the mic off of the stand and place it between my hands, things that live performers often do, and you won't hear the vibrations as much as you would with a different type of mic. The durable and rugged construction of moving coil mics makes them perfect for live and studio applications. Another great thing about dynamic mics is that they're relatively high mass with low sensitivity. If a microphone has low sensitivity, it's capable of handling louder sound input. Microphones with high sensitivity might sound great on quiet sources, but with louder sources, the diaphragm may become saturated and distort the audio signal. Although the heavy diaphragms of dynamic microphones require more gain, it also means that they can accurately capture sound from very loud sources. Loud instruments require microphones capable of accommodating high sound pressure levels. Dynamic microphones are a great fit for that job. Dynamic microphones generally come as omnidirectional or cardioid. Most come in the cardioid polar pattern, which means that they pick up sounds best from the front and reject sounds from the rear. Although other microphone types come in cardioid patterns, dynamic mics are superior in their directionality. As I address the microphone from the front, it picks me up the best, and as I start to go over to the side, it starts to reject me more and more, until eventually you can hardly hear me at all from the rear. In addition to off-axis rejection, dynamic mics also do a great job of rejecting sounds that aren't in close proximity to the mic, even if they are on axis. This directionality has many practical applications. First, if you have several sound sources that are in close proximity to one another, Dynamic mics can help you capture only the sound from one while rejecting the sound from the others. The directionality of dynamic mics also helps in sound reinforcement. Anytime you send the signal from a microphone to a speaker in the same room, you run the risk of a feedback loop. Dynamic mics do a much better job of giving you gain before that feedback occurs, meaning you can make the microphone much louder in the room. This is another reason why dynamic mics are perfect for almost all live sound applications. As you'll see in the other videos of this series, some microphone types use complicated circuits that can add noise to the audio signal. Dynamic mics use passive, simple circuits that have no inherent noise. That means that you can gain them up much higher before hearing any hiss or hum. Dynamic microphones are perfect for almost all live sound situations, and they're also very useful in studio settings. They're durable and they sound great on almost any instrument. Whether it's the SM58 or another one of these versatile mics, pick one up and make sure you have it in your mic collection. I hope this video has been helpful. 
If you have gotten value, click the like button for me. And to see other videos in this series, click here. Audio University helps you learn the fundamental concepts and tools of audio and how to apply them. Consider subscribing and check out the blog at audiouniversityonline.com. Thanks for watching.